materials and our own? Yes, fighting together, and their wounds were jagged, as if they were from mighty beasts. Himjas, if this is another story, Nahish Narwil, I will go verify the truth of this claim. I appreciate your willingness to help, outsider. But you must understand, Heem Joss has a strong heart, but he often... This matter with the Imperials is likely simpler than he insists. What? This is a very serious accusation. The idea that one of our own caused so much pain, it is as hard to chew as thick bark. Is what Heem Joss said about the bodies true? Please, tell me all that you know. The creatures in the swamp are incredibly vicious, even in small doses. It's no wonder so many have fallen prey. It seems our prisoner was not lying to us. Those totems are ancient and very powerful. Meddling with them is quite dangerous. The one at the top of Zal Irisotl? I'm not surprised. Dismantling lures as powerful as this will require going inside the Zanmir. Unfortunately, as time abandons all Irisotl, its depths filled with nightmarish horrors. We have no choice but to venture inside the Zanmir, but we do not have enough people to do so safely. We have lost too many of our warriors. You are here as a mediator. Perhaps you could convince the Imperials to assist us in this matter. Good. Hopefully he will be willing to appeal to his superiors. Regardless, I will make sure he is freed. Take this. It is a ward that will unlock the main entrance of Zal Irisotl. I will gather as many warriors as I can, and meet you there. Gods, this can't be happening. I heard what was discussed. I can... Your own people? I suppose it doesn't matter now. We've all lost friends. What we need to do is fix this. The Ivory Brigade is far from petty. I'm sure there will be some who are unhappy about it, but even they will understand the need to work together in order to stop this. I'll speak with my commander if I'm free to go. I'm sure I can convince him. My apologies on behalf of my tribe, Lieutenant. Let us get you out of there. I will meet you at the ruins.
The entrance to Zaldir Asatls should be along the bottom of the structure. Let us hurry. There, the door. It is quite dark in here. Why don't you lead? You relics, why will you not stop? Ninjas, I am Holy. sorry. You did this? I cannot disable the lures, no matter how hard I try. My touch causes them to fade, yet they return within seconds. When I take my axe to the stone, my blade only dulls. I blamed the Imperials for our missing people. I was a fool. I was trying to protect my people. Too many times Dryskins have come to our swamps in an attempt to claim them. These Imperials seemed no different. I hoped to frighten them. I activated the totems to try and chase them off. Use them as a means to gather food and resources. When the totem is active, creatures are drawn to its aura like a Kotugava to blood. I did not know how dangerous this ancient magic truly was. I did not understand my actions were the cause of all this. Not until I heard about the bodies you and Himjas found. And once I realized, it was already too late.
Yes, but it is impossible. Nothing I do works. The magic replenishes itself within mere moments. I am truly sorry. We should evacuate our people to Gideon before Hutan Zell is overrun. Help is here, my friend. Let us begin. Nahish Nerwu. And the Imperials? I'm sorry. This is my fault. The time for blame can come later. We're here to help. Olik's actions were foolish. These lures have lain dormant for a reason. The magic within them is dangerous. Still, the actions of the past cannot change the present. What is done cannot be undone. But we can ensure that no one else gets hurt. A ritual. To dismantle the lures, they must be touched above ground and below within a few moments of one another. It requires an act of unison. Perhaps it is a test from those that came before us. A lesson of sorts. Now it falls to us to learn it. The Imperials agreed to post their soldiers above ground. They're already in position and awaiting orders. Once you activate a lure below, its partner above the surface will flicker, signaling the Imperials to act. Do you understand? I will return above to... I want to be able to help remedy it. You and Himjas must dismantle the lures down here and rejoin us when you are finished. Good luck to you, outsider. And thank you. Thank you. We will fix this, Olik. Do not worry. It is working.
the last one. Now I will make a swift, daring exit and run back to the village. Meet you there. of my thanks, Lieutenant, as well as my tribe's friendship. Thank you. I assure you, we will do everything in our power to make sure this is the start of a prosperous friendship between our people. A great success. We are victorious and strong and all mostly intact. The totems have fallen silent above ground. I assume you and Heen Beast should move on now. I do not think they will trouble us any more than they did before all this. We will all be safe. In large part because of your efforts, we were able to find common ground and the desire to communicate. I have personally apologized for our responsibility for the bloodshed, and they have been gracious enough to accept my sincerity. Olik was trying to protect his people, and we understand that. But his actions cost lives on both sides, and for that he must be punished. It pains me, but it is necessary. Olik understands, and he will face his punishment bravely. You have my enduring gratitude, Traveler. Should your adventures ever bring you this way again, know that you may call us allies. I think Himjas was looking for you, 
Be sure to say your farewells to him before you continue your journey. The tribe will be telling stories of this for many years to come, I am sure. The mighty Himjas, with his faithful partner, slashing through horrors in the darkness of ancient ruins without a shred of fear. Thank you for your help, friend. The tribe will flourish now that we are no longer fighting with the Imperials. As for me, I will continue performing heroic deeds across the coast. Great heroes like us never stay in one place too long. Please, take this. Not only did you fight bravely, but you ensured a truce between my tribe and the Imperials. You saved many lives today. I will make sure no one leaves you out of the grand stories of our heroism. We did it, friend. We fearlessly pursued the truth, cut through our foes with Wamasu-like strength, bested our enemies, and came out victorious. It's a great day. No, though I imagine some will be. I happen to understand what it is like to be impulsive and overconfident at times. I see why he did it, and in my heart, I know I can forgive him. Whether he can forgive himself is a different matter. That I am not sure. But the fact that they put aside their grief and anger in order to help us in the ruins makes me believe that they understand better than I would have anticipated. I hope they forgive him, and that relations between us flourish. <laughs>